Hi, welcome to I Hate Formulas. My name's Morgan. Today we'll be creating a program to help you find the z-score when you already know the data, the mean, and the standard deviation. The first thing you'll do is you'll click Program, scroll over twice to New, and click Create New. You'll type in z-score. Sometimes it gets a little tricky to find these letters. There we go. The next thing you'll do is you'll click Program. You'll scroll over to I.O. and click Input and click Enter. The next thing you'll do is you'll set your you will set your calculator in Alpha Lock by clicking Second Alpha. This lets you read all the letters that are in green. You'll start with the quotes and you'll type in data. You'll add a question mark and add a space by clicking the zero. Then you'll end the quotations. Then you'll take your calculator out of alpha lock and you'll add a comma. Then you'll set your calculator back into alpha lock and click D. From there, you'll click Enter, and you'll repeat the same beginning, Program, I.O., Input, Enter, back into Alpha Lock with the quotes, and this time you'll write Mean. You'll add the question mark, add your space, end your quotes, add a comma, oops, add a comma, and you'll write M. And you'll enter one more time. Program, input, same as before, quotes. This time we're writing standard deviation, so we'll abbreviate it STDEV, your question mark, your space, your quotes, out of alpha lock. There we go. Comma and an S for standard deviation. This is where it gets different. We're going to click program, input output, and scroll down to disp number three. This will let us display what we want at the end. So we'll do alpha lock quotes and we're, we're going to have it say z score is. Z Don't forget to add your spaces. And then you're going to end your quotes here. You're going to add a comma. And here's where it's going to do the math for you. You're going to first add a parentheses. You're going to add your D. You're going to do minus. Make sure you take your calculator out of alpha lock for this part. And you're going to divide by standard deviation, which is S. From there, all you're going to do is you're going to quit your program, and that will automatically save it. And you're going to test your program by clicking Program. You're going to scroll down to Z-score, and it's going to ask you, What's your data? So for example, we'll say our data is 45. It's going to ask for your mean, so we'll say our mean is 0. And it's going to ask for your standard deviation, and we'll say it's 1. From there, it'll tell you your z-score is 45. And that's how you program your calculator to find the z-score.